In this tutorial, I'm gonna be going through exactly how to take drone photos and drone video for real estate. We're gonna be starting with photos, front of the property, then back of the property, then above the property. Then we're gonna be doing the same thing with video, starting with the establishing shot, fly-in shot, orbit, and then top down and then fly out shot. So stay tuned, we're gonna be going through each and every shot and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to always get the best shots when it comes to drone photos and video. So it's really important too when you take the drone off and you can see I have the drone hovering here to make sure there's nothing directly above you and also be aware of any power lines or trees that might get in the way. I've already walked the property and got a good sense of what's around this home, what's in front of the home and what's behind the home and always fly within your comfort zone. Don't ever try to get a shot that you feel like might put your drone at jeopardy uh, because if you crash a drone while you're on a shoot, one, you look bad, and two, you've now lost all the profits from that shoot because you're gonna be paying for a repair on your drone. Okay, so we're gonna start with photos first. Uh, for this first shot, I'm gonna back the drone out. This is what I call an establishing shot or proximity shot. And this just gives the viewer a good sense of where the home is located in conjunction to what's around it. Uh, generally, I like to frame the shot with the house, the subject home, in the center lower portion of the frame. And I like the horizon to be right in the middle, not at the top, not at the bottom, uh, just a nice straight on centered photo. You may have to move the drone around either left or right, uh, depending on which angle is the best for lighting. Uh, in this case, they really want to show off uh, this area over here, which is called PB. Uh, this is a pretty popular area, a lot of tourist attractions out there, uh, a lot of fun beaches. So we're going we're gonna to get this shot here. I'm going to tap on the actual property here, adjust the exposure down a little bit because I am pointed directly into the light. And this will be our first photo. Boom, just like that. Uh, now we're going to come over here to a slightly different angle. Just to be safe, I'm gonna get another one of these photos similar, just from a slightly different angle. Uh, it's, always, it's always better to just grab a couple extra shots uh, just to be safe when you're, when you're getting drone photos. There we go. So now that we've got those proximity shots, we're gonna move down a little bit closer to the home. Uh, we're gonna be just about treetop height, maybe a slightly lower, and the camera is gonna be at around a 45 degree angle pointed into the front of the property here. So I'm gonna scoot a little bit closer here. So right about there. It's nice. We'll get a shot there. We're gonna raise the camera up to get over, or the drone up to get over this tree. We're gonna move over to the right side here. We're gonna get another shot here, sort of the front of the property, but from the other side here. Now in this situation, we have a, uh, a large sort of retaining wall or hill directly behind the home. So we're actually just gonna go on over here to the side of the property uh, instead of directly behind the property. Normally I would get a shot directly from the back of the property too. So here, that's good. And it's important to try to keep the, the home in the center of the shot. Uh, you don't wanna be showing too much of the neighbor's homes. I'm gonna lower the drone down a little bit and try to get an angle of the back here, even though there's a slight hill. So we'll get shot right about there. Looks pretty good, nice and squared up. Again, I have the camera still at around that 45 degree angle looking down. Scoot over here. Great, we've got the front finished now. We've got the back of the home finished. Now we're gonna come over here, point the camera stri directly straight down. A lot of times the drone controller will have a button to where you can flip the camera directly straight down quickly. And we want to see the entire property here. And we'll get a shot there. Boom. Great. And if you notice, I am shooting JPEG and RAW. Uh, I always like to capture both when I'm doing drone photos. and uh, That way I have a little bit more control if I need to make more adjustments on those photos. All right, so that's it for drone photos.
We're gonna be starting with what I call the establishing shot of the neighborhood and the general area. Then we're gonna be doing a fly-in shot. This shows off sort of what it's like to come down into the property and what's around the front of the home. Also gives a good representation of the facade of the home. Then we're gonna be doing an orbit shot on the back of the home and then a top-down shot. And we're finishing the video off with a nice smooth fly-out shot, uh, which oftentimes works great to end your real estate property tour. So let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and take, take off. off. Double check my resolution settings. For these first shots, I'm gonna to wanna to shoot in 4K HQ, 30 frames a second. The reason why the home point has been updated. Please we wanna be in 4K map. 30 is because these first shots, uh, we want to be the highest quality we can get and we don't really need to be slowing these down. We're just gonna be getting very slow, what I call establishing or proximity shots. And these shots are purely just to show off the, the neighborhood. These shots are purely just to show off the neighborhood. It's not necessarily to be shooting the, the actual home. So I'm just looking for a nice angle of the neighborhood here uh, that shows sort of the landscape. Usually look for some palm trees or something here that really just kind of distinguishes the, the style of neighborhood. This angle is pretty nice. I got some hills in the background. I got some palm trees in the foreground and I got some nice roadways here and you can see sort of the, the facades in the front of these homes here. So we're gonna just grab this angle here. I'm gonna be doing a slow pushing forward, sort of orbiting to the right movement. And again, just very slow here. We're, we are in 4K HQ, 30 frames a second. So we wanna be moving the drone nice and slow. Generally, this angle here in this frame is gonna be where we add the call out title of the home and we sort of um, introduce the property's address. So this doesn't necessarily have to be focused on the home. The next shot will be though. There we go, that looks pretty good. Let me just turn the drone around a little bit here. I wanna see if I can get some water in this angle here. This looks pretty nice. I got some water off to the right side of the frame. The agent had mentioned earlier how she really wanted to show off the proximity of the bay and sort of like the, the uh, surrounding uh, area where those beaches are at. Looking out over towards the water right now, I do get a pretty bad reflection and uh, it, it does look fairly overexposed. Just the exposure down a little bit for this here. So we'll just continue just nice and slow sort of orbiting effect here. And I think that's, that's good there for the, for the establishing shot. Okay, next we're gonna be coming back over here to the uh, property and we're gonna be doing what's called a fly-in shot. So I'm gonna pull my exposure up a little bit here because this home is sort of uh, in some shade. Just moving the drone around, positioning the drone. The home is right here. Oh, it's right here. Boom. And so typically for this fly-in shot, I wanna I wanna be back far enough to where I can sort of see the neighborhood and see the area that the home is in, but I don't wanna be super far to where it takes, you know, a minute to get to the home. I wanna be, I would say if you're, you're moving at a, at a normal sort of, I guess, pace going into the home, not super fast, not super slow, I want that to take around maybe five to eight seconds tops. Generally, this is gonna be speed ramped anyways, uh, and I'm also gonna sort of move the drone around a little bit so I, I don't have so much light shining directly into the lens. So this angle here looks pretty good. I can sort of fly in over these homes um, and then right into the front of the house there. So I'm gonna set my focus point on the property. I'm gonna hit record there. I'm actually gonna switch my resolution to just full 4K, uh, whoop, I gotta stop. I'm gonna switch my resolution to 4K full HOV, 30 frames a second. Uh, it's, and you'll see why when I get closer to the property. Otherwise, if you're in the more zoomed in 4K full, uh, full HQ, uh, it just looks a little too tight. So I already looked for the best angle and sort of pathway into the front of the house. I'm gonna focus on it here. Adjust the exposure up just a little bit. Okay, so we're slowly flying the drone in. We're slowly decreasing the throttle, slowly letting the drone drop down into the front of the property. And I'm adjusting the yaw, the left and right 
control of the, the nose of the drone as I come into the property and I'm just slowly lowering the throttle down, pushing forward on the right stick, slowly dropping the drone in. And this is where I wanna start slowing the drone down. So you don't wanna keep that speed that you had as you were flying in. You wanna slowly have the drone come to a nice stop at the front of the house there. So we're coming in and we're gonna stop right there. Boom, and that's how you do a flying shot. And since I'm already here at the front of the house, I'm gonna go ahead and get the flying out shot. I'll just wait for this truck to go by. So for this, I'm just pulling straight back the same direction that I came in. Move this over a little bit here. Let's start this right about here. Just flying the drone directly back, the same direction I flew in. Raising the drone up, increasing the throttle, slowly tipping the gimbal up. There, boom. So that's the fly out shot. <clears throat> Next shot, we're gonna be doing a, normally what would be an orbit. This is gonna be a little bit tricky on this property because there's a re retaining wall and, and hill behind the house. Normally. I would get the drone kind of low and do an orbit at the back. For this property, we're just gonna be on the side here and we're gonna do a slow orbit around the, the side of the home. So here, we're recording. Slow orbit and I'm just slowly yawing the drone to the left and I'm rolling the drone to the right to create that orbiting effect. And this should just be done nice and slowly. Remember, you're shooting at 30 frames a second so you don't wanna have any super fast movements here. There we go. My adjust Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Adjust the exposure, get one more with the backyard slightly more exposed. I know the roof is starting to get a little bit blown out, but that's okay. So I'm slowly orbiting, just showing off the, the back of the property here. Great. All right, next we're gonna do a top-down shot. So this is basically just looking directly down, getting a, a sense of the entire property and the property lines. And for this property, I'm gonna be doing a sliding left and right, depending on the how the property is shaped. Sometimes a horizontal uh, angle looks a little bit better. But for this property, just a le simple uh, right to left is gonna look fine. So. Recording, slowly sliding left to right. And we're gonna stop right there, boom. Okay guys, so that concludes our drone shoot for this property. Hopefully you learned a lot and you have a better understanding of how to take drone photos and video at your next property tour. Remember, keep in mind, fly within your limits and always make sure to grab a few extra shots that's going to be helpful when it comes to post editing and also if maybe your clients wanted uh, an extra angle so um, yeah hopefully this has been helpful thank you mm -hmm.